So here's something that's going to come up on the AP exam, and you have to really think your way through this. It's actually really easy because they're going to tell you what they're looking for. So the question is, do we want area or definite integral? Are they the same thing? Exactly. I'm not sure either. So please remember on the AP exam, use caution in calculus next year if you're uh, taking it at the university or if you're taking it this year, remember that your professor, if he or she says area, you're going to use integration, but it's not necessarily the definite integral. So let's take a look at some examples. So here is what is the area bounded by the, uh, I'm sorry, bounded by y equals cosine x, the x-axis from 0 to 2 pi. So this is what I'm thinking. Here, here's the question here. If I set up my calculator, I just put this into the calculator here, and as you can see, this is 2 pi, and this is from 0 to 2 pi. And what happens, if you look at this, this seems to be KD positive area here, and positive area here, and negative area here. And if you were able to make a hinge out of this and fold this piece down, it would be half of this one. If you could fold this one down, it would fit up the other, it would take up the other half. So it seems that we have negative area, like offsetting area, Seth. However, that's really not the truth. So the question is, how would you fix that? How would you figure out how to do this? So what I did was this. I knew that the question was an area question, not a definite integral question. So what I did was this. I went back to my calculator, and what I did was that I took the absolute value of cosine of x. And then I took, then I integrated from here. So now the, all the area even looks positive, doesn't it? And if you folded this piece down, Seth, it would look like that, I'm sorry, this piece down here, it would look like that cosine curve, wouldn't it? Okay, so last thing I did was this, and I just want to show you this. If you're asked for the definite integral, if the question is what is the definite integral from 0 to 2 pi of cosine of x dx, then put that in just like that. And if you did, you would get this answer of 0, which is what we discovered before. But if it's an area question, just put an absolute value. So let me actually show you how I did that. For the first one, what I did was this. I went to my menu, and when I press this button, I get this. I went to calculus. I went to integral. And then I just type in what I wanted there, which was 0 to 2 pi. And you can type it in either 2 pi like this. Or you can type in 2pi on your calculator. It understands it perfectly. So in this case, I'm taking the definite integral. So cosine x. And make sure your variable of integration matches. So cosine of x dx. And hit enter. And there's how I got that 0. When I went back and realized, Seth, that what I'd been asked was an area question, then I just rewrote my question. And I went to menu again chose calculus, still chose integration, but this is the part that I want to make sure you get how to do. Put in 0 to 2, and I told you you could use 2 pi, so 2 pi, the calculator will read it just exactly the same. And then I typed an absolute value, which is just a, b, s. It's important here, open your parentheses, and then type in cosine x, so cosine, da, 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 da. And this is important also. It looks at that if I accidentally put an X after cosine, look what happens to the way the letters go. So they went back to italics. That's telling your, you that your calculator is not reading correctly what you're saying. So you have to open the parentheses and put the X in. Really important. And then remember to have your variable of integration match. So this is cosine X. This is DX. So if it was uh, cosine of T or cosine of theta, you'd have D theta or DT. Yeah? Okay. And then hit enter. You can see the difference. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, on the calculator section of the, of the AP exam, they're going to set you up for this kind of weird stuff and make sure that if you're asked an area question, that you're giving them area. And remember, area can't be negative. Let's just look at this one more quick time. Even though your calculator is registering this as negative, this is not negative area. This is not negative area. So please be careful as you read the exam. If it says find the area then use something like this. If they, find, if they ask you for the definite integral, use this. And the way I got to this, if you're wondering, was I went to Analyze Graph, and I chose Integral. And just to show you, I can take the integral from here to here. And you see that this integral here is negative 2, isn't it? If I, if I do this again, Analyze Graph, take the integral, 
from here to here. It's two, isn't it? So look at this set. This is why it did that. See, it says here that the area is two. It says here the area is negative two. If I take the total area, well, what's two plus negative two? Zero. So what you have to do here is if you weren't able to do it this way, then what you do is you just take the absolute value of this and add two plus two and get four. Yeah? Okay. Hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have questions, please send them to Dr. Hasslinger. No, it's not.